Hello. Today I want to tell you about my experiences with AudioCraft, Mita's music generating large language model, which I think can be very interesting for a musician. It consists of three models MusicGen, AudioGen, and Encodec. And as we're going to create music, we will be using the MusicGen model. Since a while, I'm looking out for a large language model to be my collaborator and to create a song together. Instead of using prefabricated sounds or loops from a sound library, I wanted to work with my very own original tracks which never have been heard before. So I have tested various models, but without success. The music they generated was too aleatory, too bad in quality, or too monotonous, to start a partnership and work together. Until now. Recently I heard about MusicGen and I installed the interface Audio Radio to test it. The very first tracks that it produced convinced me immediately. Yes, this will be my partner and we will make a common song. What I heard sounded warm, even beautiful. It inspired me. The tracks were stable in key and in tempo, with enough repetition but also with enough changes. The quality was mostly very good. If you want to try it out, I will show you how to install and use Audio Radio. There is a website where you can try out MusicGen for free, but the site is always very busy and limited to very short clips. You will find the link in the description. I would highly recommend to install MusicGen on your local machine, and that's what we are going to do next. First, we need to install a free software called Pinocchio, which will allow us to run large language models on our computer. I will leave a link down below where to get it and how to install it. I'll be running it on my Mac, but it works just as well on a PC. After starting Pinocchio for the first time, we need to install MusicGen. Click on the Discover button and you will find various AI tools that you can run with Pinocchio. Scroll down a bit until you find Audio Radio and click on it to download. Then hit again Download at a recommended location. After the download has finished, you will be asked to install Audio Radio, so hit Install. The installation can take quite a while, as Pinocchio needs to download all the scripts and libraries that are needed, but you only have to do this once. Just be patient. Once the installation has finished, hit done, and you can see two buttons, Start AudioGen or Start MusicGen. Click on Start MusicGen, and after a while, a browser window with your MusicGen UI will open. If it doesn't open automatically, you will see a link in the Pinocchio text interface. Running on local URL, copy that link, open your web browser, and paste it into the address bar, and you're good to go. Now let's have a look at Audio Radio. It has a simple interface and it is easy to use. You enter your prompt here. You can choose the model you want to use here. I have used Melody and Large, both were good. You can set the duration of the created track here. Just leave the original settings as they are. Click on Submit. The first time you generate a track, it will take longer because the model is being downloaded. When you are satisfied with the output, you can download and save your track here. There is another option to generate music. You can insert an audio input here. This input can be anything, an instrumental line, a voice recording or a part of a song. The melody will be taken over and will be put into a new form in the generated track. You can use this option to continue on a track that you have generated. For example, if you want to add an instrument to the beat you have made. Here are the observations that are made while working with Audio Radio Music Gen. The BPM indications in the prompts are respected perfectly. My BPM meter shows occasionally slight fluctuations between 0.1 and 0.3, but these are not audible. The fluctuations in recordings of human music bands are certainly greater. So you can use the created tracks as they are. There is no need to edit them with a time flex tool. 
The tracks are also consistent in structure, but still offering subtle changes as they go on. They have a good stereo separation and they are mostly of a good sound quality. When it comes to the key, Audio Gradio has a curious characteristic. No matter which key I entered in the prompt, it always gave me C minor. An influence on the key seems not to be possible by the prompt. But there is another way to impose a key. This is possible by using an audio file as an input. The generated track will adapt to that key. Most of the time this works good. Sometimes it is necessary to give it a few tries. When you use an audio input, you can change the original tempo and style by the prompt. For example, if your input audio is a slow song with 80 BPM, you can create a dance beat with 140 BPM. Mentioning the new tempo and style in the prompt overrides the original tempo and style. My general impression of audio radio, the created tracks are steady and consistent. It gives a reliable output. The key is stable, the tempo is very exact. The sounds are often pleasing and of good quality. Although Music Gen's output is good, it needs some human work to create a complete structured song that stays interesting for the listener from the beginning to the end. I am confident that this will change soon and we will be able to get a ready-made song for models such as Music Gen. A musician's work will then be to create with taste and know-how to control with the right prompts, to pick and choose what sounds best. The job musician will not vanish, it will just change. So let's adapt to the new circumstances and opportunities. Here is how I proceeded to make a song out of the generated tracks. I put the created audio files into my DAW. Here they are. First, I had to crop their beginnings. Their timing is perfect. But the first note of the render track is not always the first note of the bar. You need to analyze the structure here and see where the bars and beats start. Then chop off and align correctly in the bar grid. You need to hear also where subtle changes come in, like hi-hats getting louder, rhythm getting more complex and so on. Cut out those parts that sound best and place them where they fit best. Sometimes you can turn a good segment into a loop like here. Sometimes you can use a track as a whole, like here. I had to use the equalizer. Because Music Gen had included basses in most of the tracks, and in some places those basses didn't fit one to the other. So I had to make them inaudible where it was necessary, keeping only the sounds with other frequencies. I made volume automations to make the parts fit and to blend them with the background voices. I use different positions in the surround mix for the tracks. Sometimes they are placed in front, sometimes in the back of the soundscape. The stereo separation left right was very good in Music Gen's tracks, so I didn't have to bother about that. In short, I did all those things that I would have done to edit any audio track that a real guitar player, drummer or singer would have sent to me. While I worked on the instrumental background, I composed the Solaria vocals, and so, piece by piece, this song came to life. Have fun creating your own song with Music Gen. I do not know what it means.